I'm I'm Aaron from Decatur Waves, Greater Georgia. Hey, Aaron from the uh, from Georgia. You said, hey, how you doing? What do you want to talk about? I mean, is it okay if I had, can you hear me on my car? I'm actually working right now on my work truck. Can y'all hear me okay? Yeah, you sound fine. Maybe a little bit low, but not so low I can't hear you. Everything sounds fine. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So I, uh, that caller earlier that was talking about, uh, you know, getting into the IDW stuff, that made me want to call really bad because I've had the same, I had the same problem in my early 20s. Uh, I'm from the South, obviously, and, uh, you know, it's a very, I grew up very religious and very conservative home. And um, when I got to college, I was, you know, I, my eyes woke up to that when I saw it, but I was still kind of scared to, I didn't know how to go about, you know, talking to my family about this stuff once I really learned that I, I'm pretty, now in today's, I'm pretty much a socialist, I would say, for the most part. So uh, my family and me do not agree on a lot of things. Uh, it's really hard to talk to my parents about politics or anything. So I was just wondering, do y'all have any, like, ideas? Because I, I honestly, yesterday, I was just talking to my dad about, uh, yeah, yeah, my dad's in a union, but he hates unions. And uh, I was talking to him about the union, uh, about you, just different union stuff about the UAW, because the UAW strike is going to affect him because he works in the auto uh, industry. And uh, he just gets so upset about it, and I can't even, like, he hung up on me because I can't even, I try to be very understanding and stuff, but I still can't even talk to him about it because he is so shut out from anything that's not conservative. So do y'all have any ideas of what I could do to maybe open his eyes a little bit? Because it's tough to, I, it's kind of hurting my relationship relationship with them yeah i mean it's rough especially when it's uh, apparent um yeah, yeah. It, it's I, I don't know if i have any uh you know uh, single you know easy advice that just like oh you say this and it's done but i mean what are what are what are the issues that he, he consistently brings up what actually matters to him well, when he talks it politics with him yeah, he's just he's a very religious person uh, my parents are very religious they, i mean they grew I, I grew up in a very southern baptist home so it's the typical you know abortion rights um the transgender stuff is a very uh very sensitive subject to talk to them about so i don't even know how to go about that one honestly does he, even, does he, Pretty much does he really, does he really bring of. that up though does he really does he bring that up like is that something that matters then? No, not really. He, he'll, he'll, he'll say something like, it's hard to explain it. Like, he will, we'll just be talking, and I might bring in something like I feel that maybe can influence him a little bit in a way that maybe it can open his mind a little bit. And then before I say, when I say that, he kind of, he automatically turns to being like very defensive about his, uh, what he thinks on the situation. And by that time, we end up, I me mean, and him are very similar. We're very passionate people. So we end up getting an argument about it. And then before I know it, he's hanging up on me. So I just, uh, it's just frustrating to get like, I just want him to open his eyes because it's just like, I, it took me, you know, I'm 30 now. And it took me to about, I met a girl a couple years ago and we're dating and she's my girlfriend and she was, you know, very liberal. And she opened my eyes up to so much. And I'm just trying to do that for him because I care about him. And it's just hard because I don't want him, um, because I also have a half black nephew and I'm, we're all white, obviously. So and he lives with my parents and my sister in that small town I'm from. I'm a very, I'm from a very small town, town in Georgia. Now I live in, you know, I live in the city, but like, it's like the school's 99% white. Uh, there's very little black people there. He doesn't, his dad's not involved in his life. He's like, he doesn't have black culture. And it's not fair to that. My nephew, he deserves to have that. I feel like, and they don't, I don't feel like they care or think that's even a thing. I think my sister does, but my parents do not care about that. And that really, that bothers me because he's going to have a hard life living in a small town being um, a mixed child. Right. So that, that's yes. just some of the things we get into. Right. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's, maybe, it's a lot deeper I mean, than I could get into. I mean, may, may, maybe, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> the, you know, the reality is that, you know, your, your nephew is, is a, you know, as a, a, you know, a black, uh, kid and is a black teen when he gets that old and is a black man when he gets to that point he's going to have a very different experience mm -hmm. regardless of what culture he was brought up in and maybe yep. maybe you know your your parents um you know love for their grandchild will open up their eyes to the reality of what he experiences that you know maybe they're white kids or they themselves never had to experience maybe that will be something um maybe Maybe I'm, it's possible I'm that hope, it, I'm hoping 
I thought about that same thing maybe when he's only because he's only seven right now. But when he gets into those teenage years, maybe they'll start seeing how people look at him, and maybe they'll open their eyes to it. I'm hoping. Uh, but uh, I mean, I hate I to say it. There's parts of this country, no. and I'm not saying I'm not saying the South. I'm not being someone who's like. But there are no, parts of this country. That you could say that, but I can't because uh, yeah. I'm not from the South. But um, I don't, I don't want to come off as like one of those elite coastal libs right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can do it all you want because it's the it's the truth. You can't get more true than what you're saying. Again, you can it's say bad that. down here. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, uh, the reality of the situation is, though, that they might even be looked at sideways, sadly, for if they're out Very with their, 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 their grandchild. Um, I've heard stories Very of conspiracy true. theorists seeing a, a, a parent or a grandparent, a white parent or grandparent with their mixed race child uh, or even vice versa, a black parent or grandparent with their their, uh, uh, you know, mixed race, but white passing child or even their adopted white child and people usually you know right-wing conservatives or conspiracy theorists they'll call the police on them so just automatically assuming that there's some sort of trafficking situation or kidnapping situation that's that's like a a, a not so uh abnormal occurrence i'm not saying it's a regular occurrence but it's not something that never happens either yeah i mean it's definitely more regular down here i mean i've heard of people in my hometown calling kid walking a black kid walking down the street in a, a neighborhood calling the cops on him because he's walking down the street like what is he doing wrong like i, I that that's a that i could talk about that all day like i have i, I just don't get it I, I i don't understand that i've never understood even when i was i would tell when i was back in right i still didn't understand the the race thing like i don't get why we care so much about what we look like i feel like we should always care about the character within but I've always thought that even before I turned right. more well, left. Well, I, you'll, that just you'll, always befuddles you'll, me. You'll, you'll hear that same line from conservatives too, but there's a difference here mm-hmm. where uh, people on the left understand that, but also understand that the reality is that there are people who don't think that way <laughs> and yeah, there will exactly. be and even people and even people who do think that way w- might not even realize that they have some sort of uh prejudice uh, uh against uh you know a, a certain uh you know uh, a minority group or group of people based on how they look um you know I, yeah, michael I think brooks that's how my michael, dad is michael, honestly m- Michael Brooks used to say, like, we can we can aspire for that world where people don't see color like that could be the goal, the yeah. aspiration. But yeah. to live Absolutely. like that is the case, like that's the reality yeah. is ludicrous because that's not what's happening. Yeah, it is. And so you can, it, you, it can is ju- absolutely. you can and should judge people by who they are. But you also have to understand what people go through based on how others look at them. Yeah, and how people, you know, like you said, other parts of this country, you know, were raised very differently than what, you know, like the Northeast. Everywhere's different. So race is way more important in the South than probably anywhere else in our country. But I, I do like what you said about I think that will help. And then I've already already told my sister, and she really liked this. I was like, when he gets older, because I do live in a very, you know, a black populated area. I was like, if he ever needs to get, when he gets older and he just feels like he's out, send him to my house. Send him to Decatur. We'll give him whatever he needs. We'll make sure he's okay. We'll, you know, get him around the people he needs to be around. To, you know, to give him that because he needs that. That's not fair to him to take that away from him. In my opinion, that's part of him. That's like half, that's half of him. So I, 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 I don't understand like taking that away from him. It kind of that hurts my feelings when they don't really show him his black culture and when I think they should. But that's you know, right. that's a deeper. Well, you know, I think I, I, think I could talk about hours that with my dad. Based on how you described, you know, your your parents, maybe little steps is the way to look at it. I I don't think we can expect them to be taking your nephew to, uh, you know, uh, yeah. out into the, you know, a uh, 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 something that they feel uh, uh, very strongly about in certain ways. I'm sure. So we can't really expect that. But you know, take those small steps with them. I would say when it comes to you know conversation with your dad, uh, you know, really focus yeah. on what matters in his life. Like what what is the issues yeah. that affect you and listen you could even like don't like you, they, there's no need like i think a lot of for a lot of conservatives they really think that the alternative is like 
uh, you got to be like uh, like a, a Democratic Party faithful, just like how they are Republican yeah. Party faithfuls. But that's not the case. They just truly have to understand that. No, I mean, the parties, they're not the same, obviously. I, I would never go that yeah. route. But but yeah, the parties, there, there are, are, are people in both parties who certainly don't care about what, you know, the, the average American worry about. But the fact of the matter is that the politicians who do fight for the issues that most affect the everyday lives of uh, American people are people on the left. And a number of them just happen to so uh, be uh, sitting members of the uh, of Congress in the Democratic Party. I agree with you. I, I've told him that before. Like I tell him a lot of times, I don't agree with a lot what the Democratic Party does, especially you know, like the corporate Democrats. I have, I got nothing for them. Like I lean towards the squad and everything like that. And then when I bring up the squad or bring up anything like Bernie, he shuts down. So I can't do that. I, but <laughs> and I don't want to disparage my parents. My parents are great. I, I was raised in a great home. Never had to worry about anything. Like they loved me. They gave me all of that. It's just you know. So you can still one thing can be true. They can be great and loving, and also have some bigoted, backwards views. And that's right. why I'm, I'm trying to help with that. Right. Great call, by the way. Really appreciate it. Uh, no. Great, great can call. Can I say one more thing before you let me go? Sure. Really quick. Go ahead. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, real quick. I, I found y'all about six months ago through Hassan, uh, uh, the Twitch streamer, and once oh, I, I saw the debate with Steve Crowder. <laughs> Yeah, the Steven Crowder H three thing. I saw all that. Right. And that made, and when I saw Sam go on that, I was like, "This guy's the man." So I got. So I started listening to him, and then after that, I've, I'm a, I'm part of the majority of reporters. Sam's the man. M is the man. Matt, you are Brian. And all y'all are awesome. Y'all do a great job. And I just wanted to let y'all know that y'all are fantastic. Y'all really helped me get uh, be able to talk about things like this in a. Uh, a way where people don't get a, you know get offended by their ideas, and it gives me ways to. It also helps my ideas. I've got stronger in what I believe in because of y'all. So I greatly appreciate that. Love to hear it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Take care. Uh, no, left left is best. Have a good one. Thank you. Left is best. Another great call. I'm. I think I. I think I have a knack for for picking uh, the calls here. Yeah, the people uh, who are actually see. coming on the line that that they're good. Yeah, yeah, I also have a knack of picking people who disappear. Yes, <laughs> Hang up let's just take let's just take. Uh, I, I, I someone pointed out. I'll, I'll read some items in a second. But someone just pointed out. Uh, you you know the the streamer Hassan. The caller said as if yeah, as if we're Hassan. the big timers here. Who oh that little guy. <laughs> I think <laughs> I've heard Hassan, of him. I think I've heard of him. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty Name sure that rings, rings a bell. A bell. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, though. It makes me feel more important.